Uh, actually, Dan, this is your old, old friend, Adam Chandler. I do, guys. I'm a do that. I want to talk about the Johnny Manziel. He's good like that. Hey, Dan, uh, long-time caller, first-time listener. How Thank are you? you sir? Thank you, Jay. Or something like that. Hey, I, uh, you know me, Dan, very well. I myself am in recovery. I never went to a, a rehab. I just did it the old-fashioned way. But I think the discussion about Manziel, I heard you earlier say, and I don't think you were taking a shot at Manziel, but I do listen to the Dan Patrick Show every damn day because I'm a man, mm -hmm. and I want my knowledgeable sports takes from you. Uh, when you go into rehab, you're admitting that you failed. And I wanted to say to you, my friend, uh, sort of, well, no, you but give I, up, also, Jay. Jay, I, I, you know what? He, you give up. Having somebody close to me who went into rehab, they feel they fail you, and and that you know what? I, I couldn't handle it myself, and then that's when you surrender. So that if if I misspoke or you know what what you're then taking, then you're from, exactly right. Yeah. Then you're exactly right because when you admit uh, that failure, when you when you surrender. When you lay down and say, I, I am powerless over drugs and alcohol, and my life has become unmanageable, and you are willing to walk through the doors of a facility and say that to every stranger that comes up and shakes your hand, that is courageous. Yes. And I would say everybody that uh, likes to make jokes and tweet about it, I think we all should take a second step back and tip our hats to Mr. Manziel. Whether he went there under his own accord, don't know, not our business. The second A stands for anonymous. Well, Jay, However, what, what, what once is you're he, in there, they will weed out whether you're wasting their time or not. What is he in? What, what's in store for him? Um, he would do well if he's addicted to something. It would be detox for about seventy-two hours detox. So I don't think he's like you know uh, hardcore. You know, you as you said, you have somebody close to you, Dan. I have people very close to me. I very actively sponsor people and i've been through you know you drive guys up the hill to the rehab and they're throwing bikes in their mouth like every last thing they have on them nobody goes to rehab sober uh otherwise you you want to do it again do it right um so if he's addicted to something uh like cocaine or i which and heroin or something like that or i, I don't think he is i think I don't – you know what? I'm not even going to speculate. Yeah. You would have a 72 detox, and they could give you something like Seroquel, uh, which is a drug where you would just really sleep. They try to make it – if it's a fancy place, which he's going to – he's not going to a mom and pop shop. He's going to a place where an NFL quarterback can afford to go. So they would give you something like Seroquel, which is a drug that's uh, – they monitor, and it really just helps you sleep for like forty, uh, two days, three days straight, so you don't freak out during your uh, detoxification. And then there's group share. He'll have to sit in a room. This is generally Dan. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. I don't. I'm not saying this place is just how this place works. I'm saying generally a rehab facility. You go and um, there's a schedule. There's a board. You can't be late to film session when you go to rehab, or you you are asked to leave. So 8 a.m. group share. If you walk in at eight ten, maybe once, but the second time this isn't working out, we're gonna have to ask you to leave. So you're gonna he's gonna have to be very, very responsible in a very, very small stage. And the stage is within the walls of that house. Eight AM share, ten o'clock, I don't know, yoga, noon lunch, one o'clock share, you know, three o'clock private share, four to five, free time with cell phones. We all eat dinner together at six. And then we all go out to a meeting in a white van someplace at like, uh, you know, eight o'clock. Lights out at ten thirty. Hand your cell phones in. If you break the rules, we got to ask you to leave. So, it's a uh, it's a very small stage with much higher stakes. This is someone's life, my brother. I appreciate you calling in, Jay. Dan, I listen every day because you are very simply the best in the business. And every time I speak into a mic, I'm trying to be more like you, my friend. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Dan Patrick. That's Jay Moore. Jay Moore Sports on uh, Fox Sports Radio.